Hi there, welcome. Uh, my name's Kurt. This is uh, one of my fun quizzes, number 133. Uh, as usual, if you've taken part already, you know, just grab yourself a pen or a pencil and some paper to jot down your answers. Simple as that. I give you all the questions first and then all the answers at the end. The whole process will take just over 30 minutes. Uh, so if you're ready, good luck and enjoy this quiz. It has six rounds. There are eight questions in each round and your rounds for this one are sport, food and drink, as usual connection. What connects all the answers? Science and nature, music, and lastly, as always, some pictures to finish off with. So that's it. If you're ready, let's make a start. On to round number one, uh, sport round. Your first sport question is number one in tennis. What immediately follows juice? In tennis, what immediately follows juice? <clears throat> Number two, how often are the World Athletics Championships held? Is it one, two or every four years? How often are the World Athletics Championships held? Is it every one, two or four years? One in three chance, if you're not sure. Okay, number three. Hearts and Hibs are football teams in which same Scottish city? Hearts and Hibs are football teams in which same Scottish city? Okay, number four. Oh, where is the Grand, sorry, where is the Welsh Grand National Horse Racing event held? Don't forget that important word. So where is the Welsh Grand National Horse Racing event held? Number five. Since 1964, Formula One Grand Prix racing has been held at three different English racetracks. Can you name them for one point each? Sure, sure you can remember. Since 1964, Formula One Grand Prix racing has been held at three different English racetracks. Can you name them? <clears throat> On to question six. In lawn bowls, what is the small target ball called? In lawn bowls, what is the small target ball called? Little ball you aim for. On to number seven. How many hurdles are jumped in a 100 meter hurdle event? How many hurdles are jumped in a 100 meter hurdle event? And your last sport question is number eight, which city hosted the 2012 Summer Olympic Games? Which city hosted the 2012 Summer Olympic Games? Round two then, food and drink. First question, which country produces the pine scented wine, Retsina? Which country produces the pine scented wine, Retsina? Not drunk this myself, not a wine person. Hmm. 
Number two, what is a Maris Piper? What is a Maris Piper? Number three, which fruit has the alternative name of Chinese gooseberry? Which fruit has the alternative name of Chinese gooseberry? That is question three. Question four is, what do Americans refer to as a weenie? What do Americans refer to as a weenie? Number five, what would you find inside a bait Alaska? What would you find or what would you hope to find inside a bait Alaska? Yes, it's a surprise based disaster. Number six. Oh, what is mascarpone? Question six. What is mascarpone? Number seven, a frittata is the Italian version of which common dish? A frittata is the Italian version of which common dish? And your final food and drink question number eight, what is Mexico's most popular beer and is sold worldwide? What is Mexico's most popular beer and is sold worldwide? Moving along. Our connection round, round three, as usual, what connects all the answers in this round? Remember, once you find the connection, just check your answers do actually fit to make sure they're right. OK, so let's make a start with question one. In the UK, we call it autumn. But what do North Americans call it? In the UK, we call it autumn. But what do North Americans call it? Number two, what word means to cast off an old bodily covering, such as a snake's skin? What word means to cast off an old bodily covering, such as a snake's skin? Number three. What word describes an official record of events during the voyage of a ship or aircraft? What word describes an official record of events during the voyage of a ship or aircraft? That is question three. Question four is what first name links English quizzer and TV personality nicknamed the Beast and the actor that played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars? What first name links English quizzer and TV personality nicknamed the Beast 
and the actor that played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Fairly easy, I would hope. Question five. What slang word means not willing to spend or give much money for anything? What slang word means not willing to spend or give much money for anything? This is where when you get the connection, just check you've got your answers right. On to number six then. What word describes the strength of distilled alcoholic spirits? This one just might give you the connection if you've not already got it. What word describes the strength of distilled alcoholic spirits? Don't worry, one more question to go if you haven't got the connection yet. And that question is number seven. What fruit can be honeydew or cantaloupe, among others? What fruit can be honeydew or cantaloupe, among others? Hopefully you've got the connection because question eight is what connects the answers for questions one to seven. Hopefully you've got it. We shall find out later when we go through the answers. But for now, let's move on to round four. This is science and nature round. Question number one. What kind of farm animal is a Norfolk bronze? What kind of farm animal is a Norfolk bronze? <clears throat> Question two. What is the liquid portion of blood known as? What, what is the liquid portion of blood known as? On to number three. How is an ocular contusion more commonly known? How is an ocular contusion more commonly known? Number four. The nest of what mammal is called a lodge? The nest of what mammal is called a lodge? Moving on to number five. Which metal is alloyed with tin? to make pewter. <clears throat> Which metal is alloyed with tin to make pewter? Number six, what animal does cashmere wool come from? What animal does cashmere wool come from? That is question six. Question number seven is, what is iron oxide more commonly referred to as? What is iron oxide? more commonly referred to as. And your final one in this round, question eight. What name is given to a male bee? Got... 
lots of bird activity going on in my garden. <laughs> what name is given to a male bee? On to round five then, our music round. Question number one. The chef from South Park had a number one hit about what confectionery item in 1999? The chef from South Park had a number one hit about what confectionery item in 1999? Number two, who had a number one hit with Mambo number five in 1999? Who had a hit, a number one hit, with Mambo number five in 1999? <coughs> Excuse me. Question three. The name of which fashion magazine gave Madonna a number one hit in 1990? The name of which fashion magazine gave Madonna a number one hit in 1990? Number four. Saturday Night was a number one hit for whom in 1994? Saturday Night was a number one hit for whom in 1994? If you're a music child of the 90s, these should be fairly straightforward for you. Number five. The Christmas number one in 1994 was a song by East 17. What was the song title? The Christmas number one in 1994 was a song by East 17. What was the song title? On to number six. In 1991, which duo had a number one with Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me? And you'll get one point for each correct answer. In 1991, which duo had a number one with Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me? <clears throat> number seven. Who had number one hits in the 90s with Black or White and Blood on the Dance Floor? Question seven. Who had number one hits in the 90s with Black or White and Blood on the Dance Floor? And your final music question, number eight. Nielsen had a number one hit in 1972 with the song Without You. Which artist reached number one with the same song in 1994? Beautiful song. Nielsen had a number one hit in 1972 with the song Without You. Which artist reached number one with the same song in 1994? On to our last round then, and as usual, some pictures for you and your first picture. Number one, can you name this movie? Can you name this movie? Great movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. OK, question number two. What is the title of this movie? Question two. What is the title of this movie? Number three. What is this movie called? 
obviously realise there's a theme now to this round. Question three, what is this movie called? Again, if you haven't seen it, great movie, watch it. On to number four, what movie is this? What movie is this? Number five, what is the title of this movie? What is the title of this movie? I think everybody's seen this movie. On to number six. Can you name this movie? Can you name this movie? On to number seven then. What is this movie called? <laughs> Great movie. In fact, I must watch this again sometime. What is this movie called? If you're feeling a bit down, a bit low and you want to laugh, great movie to watch. And finally then, number eight, what movie is this? Spawned a whole new TV series. Question eight, what movie is this? <laughs> OK, that's your last uh, picture question and it's your last quiz question. So how have you done? How do you think you've done? Have you managed to squeeze an answer in for all the questions? Uh, well, let's go through the answers for you then and see how you've done. So we start off with round number one, which was our sport round and question one. In tennis, what immediately follows? Juice, it is advantage. If you're a tennis fan, you'll obviously know this. Number two, how often are the World Athletics Championships held? They're held every two years. Number three, hearts and hibs are football teams in which same Scottish city? It's Edinburgh. They are both Edinburgh football teams. Number four, where is the Welsh Grand National Horse Racing event held? It's held in Chepstow. Lovely little place. Number five. Since 1964, Formula One Grand Prix racing has been held at three different English racetracks. They are Donington Park, Brands Hatch and Silverstone, which is the home of it now. So one point for each of those. Well done if you got all three. Number six. In lawn bowls, what is the small target ball called? It's called the jack. Number seven. How many hurdles are jumped in a 100 metre hurdle event? Ten hurdles are jumped or attempted. Number eight. Which city hosted the 2012 Summer Olympic Games? Well, you should never forget this one. Of course, it was London. Number nine. Oh, sorry, not number nine. It's all round two. <laughs> food and drink. Your first food and drink question was, which country produces the pine scented wine Retsina? It's Greece. Number two. What is a Maris Piper? It is a potato. Number three. Which fruit has the alternative name of Chinese gooseberry? It's kiwi fruit. It looks like a giant gooseberry. 
Number four, what do Americans refer to as a weenie? It's a hot dog. Number five, what would you find or hope to find inside a baked Alaska ice cream? Ice cream and meringue and sponge. Ugh. Number six, what is mascarpone? It's a cream cheese. And number seven, a frittata is the Italian version of which common dish is the omelette. And number eight, what is Mexico's most popular beer and is sold worldwide? That is Corona, Corona beer. Very popular. Hot to round three, then our connection round. How did you get on? Well, question one. In the UK, we call it autumn, but what do North Americans call it? They call it fall. Number two. What word means to cast off an old bodily covering such as a snake's skin to shed shed one's skin number three what word describes an official record of events during the voyage of a ship or aircraft it is a log captain's log number four what first name links english quizzer and tv personality nicknamed the beast and the actor that played luke skywalker in star wars it is Mark. Mark Lamar and Mark Hamill. Number five. What slang word means not willing to spend or give much money for anything? It is tight. You're tight. Number six. What word describes the strength of distilled alcoholic spirits? It is proof. And number seven. What fruit can be honeydew or cantaloupe, among others? It's a melon. And so question eight, what connects the answers? Well, the connection is water. Well done if you've got that. Well done if you've got all the questions right. So on to round four, science and nature. Your first question, what kind of farm animal is a Norfolk bronze? It's a turkey. Number two, what is the liquid portion of blood known as? It's known as plasma. Number three, how is an ocular contusion more commonly known? It's more commonly known as a black eye. Number four, the nest of what mammal is called a lodge? It's the beaver, home of the beaver. Number five, which metal is alloyed with tin to make pewter? It's lead. Quite a soft metal. Number six, what animal does cashmere wool come from? It comes from a goat. Number seven, what is iron oxide more commonly referred to as rust? Red, horrible rust. And number eight, what name is given to a male bee? It's a drone. It's known as a drone. On to round five then, our music round. How did he get on? Number one, the chef from South Park had a number one hit about what confectionery item in 1999? It was chocolate salty balls. Number two, who had a number one hit with Mambo number five in 1999? It was Lou Bega. Number three, the name of which fashion magazine gave Madonna a number one hit in 1990? It's Vogue. Number four, Saturday Night was a number one hit for whom in 1994? It was a number one for Wigfield. Number five, the Christmas number one in 1994 was a song by East 17, and the title was Stay Another Day. Number six, in 1991, which duo had a number one with Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me? So for one point each, it was Elton John and George Michael. 
Number seven, who had number one hits in the 90s with black or white and blood on the dance floor? That would be Michael Jackson. And number eight, Nielsen had a number one hit in 1972 with the song Without You. Which artist reached number one with the same song in 1994? That was Mariah Carey. On to our final round then, pictures, movies. Number one, can you name this movie? Of course, that's Tom Hanks in Castaway. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Great movie. Number two, what is the title of this movie? It's There's Something About Mary. Number three, what is this movie called? That is Misery, based on Stephen King's book. Really good film. Number four, what movie is this? It's the disaster movie Armageddon, starring Bruce Willis, of course. And number five, what is the title of this movie, which I'm sure everybody has seen? If not, watch it. It's Forrest Gump, again, starring Tom Hanks, which gave him an Oscar for best movie. Number six, can you name this movie? Good, nice little chick flick. It's Ghost. And number seven, what is this movie called? That is Hot Fuzz. Simon Pegg there, brilliant movie. If you want to laugh, watch it. And finally, number eight, what movie is this? It is The Karate Kid, which has spawned the new TV series, Cobra Kai. Uh, if you haven't watched it, give it a go. It's quite good. So there you go. There's all your answers in. How have you done? Are you pleased with yourself? Doesn't matter. It's a fun quiz. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Yeah, another quiz done and dusted. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking part. Um, like I say, there are lots of lots of quizzes now on YouTube. Give one another go. Uh, they're all of a similar format. If you know somebody likes a quiz, just pass it on, share it. And if you have any feedback at all about this quiz or any other of my quizzes, please let me know. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So, yeah, once again, just thank you for joining me. And for now, from me, it just remains to say goodbye. So goodbye.